Hey guys, what's up? It's Austin here, and today we will be reacting to another episode on Hermitcraft Season 8 from the perspective of Green. Um, Green is a very good content creator, so that's why I really do enjoy making um, reaction videos of his videos. I personally think they're very entertaining. Um, but if you guys like my videos, um, please like and subscribe. Um, I do appreciate every single little bit of support I get. And if you do like this video as well, show Green some support as well because he is a very, very good content creator. And with that being said, um, let's start with the reaction. Every time I come on the server and I see this guy, I'm like a weird, proud dad. I just love looking at it. And it turns out that Mumbo has made Treza his official base. Now, we all know that Mumbo is doing his peace, love, and plants bit, but I can't stop but thinking about it all the time. All the time, he's down there. I don't think he's going to notice me, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this one for him. If Mumbo is a potato, and Mumbo eats potato, is Mumbo a cannibal? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> These sorts mm -hmm. of questions keep popping up left, right, and center surrounding Mumbo's Peace, Love, and Plants initiative. Oh, he's done such an amazing job. Look, the, you can still enter the van, and then he's got this whole interior to Treza. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. I love the fact that Mumbo has decided to keep this base. Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. It is episode five, and we are starting to get hungry for more progress. Now, I'm gonna be doing something today that I really don't want to have to do, but it is inevitable. And by this rail, you might be able to tell what it is. I have my villagers in my villager hole all the way over here, and it's time to bring them home. So what I'm going to be doing is my least favorite thing, transporting villagers. And the best way to do this is by minecart. And although I haven't actually started my base over here, what I have done is made a hole that goes a little bit down into here and created a big old space where I can start making my rudimentary villager trading hall. Villagers are an absolute nightmare, but we're gonna do it mainly because, ooh, half a half, mainly because the book store, like the rolling cart, the grain, <laughs> the G train, has been incredibly successful. I keep topping this up and people keep topping me up with diamonds. Later on in the episode, we're going to start the game of Teg, which means we will need ourselves a good interior to hide it in. But first things first, let's move those villagers. Now, if I'm not careful about how I do this, all of the villagers are gonna get out and then getting them back is gonna be a nightmare. Right, let's start loading this thing up with minecarts and they're all gonna start walking in. Okay, I think we're all in minecarts and we're all looking pretty ridiculous. Now, if this goes badly, and it probably will, it will mean a lot of hard work for me. Now, I need to get everyone on the same track if this is going to work. This is, <laughs> we got the most absurd roller coaster ride ready to go. Oh man, this could go terribly, terribly, terribly. Right, what I've got set up here is hopefully the ticket out of here. One singular, oh, oh no, they're all going, they're all going. Okay, right, it's time to go, it's time to go. Right, this is how much I commit to my videos, everyone. This is how much it means to me. I've got myself a little train whistle for this journey. <laughs> yeah. You ready? <laughs> all aboard! Yeah, they didn't go. We're, we're hit horribly stuck. We are horribly, what is this? Oh, this is, this is terrible! How has this occurred? This is what happens when you I think it, uh, villagers. I, I think it happened because of these blocks and these blocks here, but I'm not sure. This is what happens when you mess with villagers. Come on. There's a, there's a straight up. I don't know how. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know how this has happened. There's too many of them. There's... There's an infinite ball of villagers. Looks like we're going. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep, come on, you can do it. There's a horrific traffic jam. Mm-hmm. 
What is going on? What just happened? Okay, I'm gonna have to do this bit by bit. Okay. Let's leave this monstrosity here. And we'll <laughs> just take these guys for now. The golem's in the way. Oh! No! What? Alright, here we go. All aboard! <laughs> Finally, they are moving. And we still have that hideous villager ball. Man, they got enough momentum to make it all the way. What happens if I just uh, pop on here? Here they come. I am the conductor of this train. Yes! Success! Success! No, 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 no! We're dealing with such an insane amount of momentum, apparently. Minecarts are so broken. So broken. And we are here. Everyone has arrived. We didn't actually have any fatalities. We just had, well, maybe we did. Maybe I've lost some. I don't know. However, that is all the progress I wanted to make on this right now because that was, uh, that was pretty stressful. These guys are all safe and sound. It's going to take me quite a long time to set up all their trading stations. So that's where we'll leave them. Yeah. They'll be safe in there. And then we'll be back to that a little bit later on. So it is only two days until the game start. We've got two more signups. So we've actually got some people playing. Now, I, there's a couple of notes to add to the Teg game. Now, the reason for this one is basically spoilers. Uh, it, the live streaming tends to be a little bit further ahead than the videos. And also, Green gets the egg back at the end. I have big plans for this egg. It's, it's not just all mini games. This egg is important to me, and I want to keep it. What's Mumbo doing? What, what rule is he trying to get around now? <laughs> he was. He was trying to set Squid on fire. <laughs> <laughs> is that what? He, is that genuinely what he was trying to do? Unrelated note. Do you have any ink? <laughs> oh man. Hold on. I've just had an idea of how. Mumbo might be able to get squid. Yes, it works. It works. I can't believe this works. Why am I looking for Mumbo's workarounds? He's going to absolutely love this. Look at his little face. I mean, this is one way to do it, dude. This yeah. is one way to do it. I don't know why I'm helping you with your workarounds. <laughs> Hang on, I think I can. they can volunteer themselves into the flames, maybe. <laughs> volunteer? Oh, yes! Yes! Nice! <laughs> Hopefully we'll just pass away in a, in a happy... Yes! <laughs> Lovely <laughs> This is that, great! That's, that's what I call a humane death, Mumbo. <laughs> that was humane. That was incredibly humane. Do you want your leads back? There, there you go. More importantly, more importantly though, your, your score is unaffected. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's the most important thing. That's all that matters at this point in time. <laughs> There you go, I've got some more ink for you, but I just thought, there you go, there's a, there's a, there's a method of doing it. Anyway, I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. Scar, I need you yeah. to just do me a favour. This is for science. This is relevant. I need you to just stand right here, okay? Last time we did science, I died. Yeah, I, pro I promise. Pros, nothing yeah. nothing bad will ever happen to you while you're in my company. Please just stand here for one second. Oh, okay, nothing bad. Oh, whatever, Kronk. No, last time you said that, that didn't work out. <laughs> oh, no, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust anyone in trust. Look at the hats. Look at the hats. It's so massive. Is this the way that the hat just falls as if he just vanished? <laughs> oh, it's so big. So today I was hoping we could all get together and uh, kill the wither skeleton. I have kill the wither got skeleton. myself three wither skeletons. It was really boring to get them, but I've got them. I hope that everyone is up for it. And that was relevant because... Uh, Impulse saw a few videos about how to kill the wither skeleton with mm -hmm. dripstone, so mm -hmm. I thought maybe we could do that. <laughs> we can try, it might okay. not go right, but <laughs> we can go for it. So we want, we want to drop the dripstone through, we could drop it both sides, this is like ultimate wither killing machine. Oh, you want to go a double drop raider? We could. We, we definitely could, yeah. We're about to kill the wither the fastest that anyone's ever killed the wither. So, in theory, 
we spawn the wither all the way down there, and as you can see, there's two spots of soul sand where right. his head will be visible. In theory, also, the wither should be stuck. We're not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. Impulse then pulls the lever, and all of these, mm -hmm. one by one, will systematically bonk him on the head. All right, let's do it. Good luck. All right, one, good luck. Two. Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, there's bedrock on down here. in the corners. Plan B, we're going to spawn it right above the bedrock. Just, and just do it oh, above. No. Hope. <laughs> the plan has already failed. Okay. We haven't even started. Uh, 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 one head. Two. Uh -oh. Are you ready, no. Impulse? I'm ready. Not Let's ready. do it. Okay. Look at this. And he's in. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm high. Okay. I'm behind you. Wait, 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 wait for it. He's getting really. Oh, wait he's for it. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Here we go. Pull the lever. Oh, 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 Completely missed. It, it failed. It moved. It, it's, it's <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> it's is just it going up? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's just. Oh jeez. <laughs> Did anyone bring buckets of milk? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You. Oh. This is top ten inventions. You need some milk. Oh, oh, here I go. Here I go. Hey. Got him. Nice. Hey. Oh, here we go. Mark two of the Withers' death. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> We got faith in this one. Works. Yeah. Ren, you got your milk ready? <laughs> yep, milk's ready. Okay, Let's do this. Do this Excellent. So, new spot. Yeah, new spot. We've uh, deleted a bit of bedrock here using one of Impulse's magic tricks. So in theory, we're gonna we're gonna spawn the wither facing downwards like this, and then he should spawn right here, and then we're gonna drop dripstone right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? It works in theory. Ready. Ready. Yeah, it works on paper. Three, <laughs> two, one. Good luck, everyone. Oh, 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 so faster. That light okay. is going faster. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Here we go. Here comes the dripstone. Release, release, release. Come on, come on, it's come on. It's not, come on, not take it's, damage. It's not doing any damage. Oh, no. <laughs> is he stuck in there? Is he stuck? He's stuck. Well, he's stuck. I think he's stuck. <laughs> Reload the dripstone. <laughs> well, oh, uh, okay. So the reason for that is that his hitbox doesn't actually go extend uh, to the left and right. Oh, okay. oh he's all uh, underneath. He's the all way. underneath there. Yeah. Oh, oh that is he's very loud. angry. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah. He's, oh, he's, he's out. He's out. Oh, he's out again. He's out. Why do we suck so much? Oh no! He was our. Oh, he's right on me. Oh, he's down away. Away. oh my gosh, he's going. I just realized. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Hey. He's down. Six hours of grinding later, we are. We have Mark three. Impulse <sighs> yes. has tested in single player. I have grinded <laughs> six more Wither Skeleton Skulls. We are very ready to go. Correct. Oh, yes, this better work this time. Nothing I think we are could much more possibly. prepared. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? No, no way. No, no of course way. not. So course not. Okay. it's the same premise. The skeleton, the wither gets stuck in these obsidian. The skeleton. All I have to do is place this last one and skedaddle out of here as fast as possible and meet them at the top. We are We're ready. We are ready. So I'm gonna I'm gonna place it in three. Wait, no. Let me get the rockets ready. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Please make it out there with Let me make sure that I've got a clear way out, actually. Three, yeah, yeah, two, yeah. one. one, go. Wither. Oh. Please time it right. Oh, oh no. Okay. Too I think it's too early. Oh, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's health going it's... early. Not enough. Oh, oh, oh my so close. It's Wait, is it dead? It's done. It's it's done. Done. We did it. It's done. We did it. We did it. Oh, man. Where is it? <laughs> oh, we nailed it! Did it, yes. did it drop the Wither Star, though? Yeah, it dropped nice. it out here. Yay! Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, we're Easy so mode. good. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's set it up again and do it again. Let's see if this is uh, more than just a fluke, right? Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Right. Whatever number we're on. <laughs> Three, two, uh, one. Four, I think. Go. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. okay, I'm waiting. Oh. I'm waiting. Yeah. And... Whoa! Oh. Oh, oh wow! Oh, straight oh, away. Wow. That was much better. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, there you go. They had more than they needed. There's a little hesitation oh. at the end. He didn't oh, move did at just... all. Uh, right, I think I think we've successfully debunked that video, and then also 
we've successfully created a new way of doing yeah. it that actually works. Exactly. Yeah. yeah that Fantastic. Worked, it worked perfect twice in a row. Do you know what this was less like about iron. the Nether Stars and more about proving a point? <laughs> wait, well, a wait, point with the Stelly With, 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 with that a pun. <laughs> <laughs> we've got ourselves three Nether Stars. So, the first thing I'm going to do is craft this up. Three beacons ready for sale. And to say thank you to Impulse, Pearl, and Scar, what I'm going to do is I am going to go off camera at some point and farm up nine Wither Skulls. I've already got three, but I will do enough to give each of them enough to kill their own Withers. Now, there is one thing. Do, do you see the thing in the background? I don't... I don't now it is time <laughs> to deal with the tag. Tag. I need to put this somewhere on the base because the game is officially starting today and I still haven't done the interior. So what I think we need to do next, you know it, we need to go into a quick time lapse and we need to get this place looking a bit more complicated and nice so that we can hide this thing more effectively. So, let's go! I like this time-lapse music. Now, even if I was to talk you through through the process that I went through to make this interior, it would be of no use because I basically winged it. I essentially just tidied up the walls, added some support structures, and then just went nuts with glow berries and detailing with spruce. <laughs> so if you like this, sometimes the answer is to just go with the flow. So as you can see, I tried to make a diamond chandelier, and this space is not big enough one, so I've got a tiny one with a spore blossom underneath to give us that lovely effect. And then, yeah, like I said, glowberries galore, and I've got myself a better storage system down below to free up more space for more greenery. Now, it's time to talk about the Teg, the dragon egg. You thought you might have spotted it there and there, but those are just baits of obsidian. Now, the thing is, I'm going to keep it fairly simple for the very first Teg. Now, remember, I don't know how creative all the hermits are going to get, but I really hope that they can get creative. So, I'm going to keep mine very, very simple, and I'm just going to pop it there. There is one full side exposed. We're not going to get, you know, I'm not going to get really pedantic about small areas like that, that you can see the egg quite clearly, and it is accessible. Those are the key things. Now, if this mm -hmm. was a solid block, then no, but the fact that you can walk in and everybody knows the painting trick. And then you can get yourself the dragon egg. Perfect. So, best of luck. We'll keep it simple for the very first tag. And it is officially open. The game has begun. People are invited to go and find the egg. If only there was someone online that isn't just me. I know that I've only just hidden the egg, but it's, uh, it's already gone. It is already gone. But the reality is that I never actually placed the egg there. This was always meant to be a trap. <laughs> I wanted people just to walk in straight. Oh no, I've got my... Almost fell for my own trap there. So the, the plan here was that people would fall for this. So they'd walk straight in and probably die down there. The thing is, what I didn't expect is the second that I placed the egg, there were multiple people around here looking for it and it was found instantly so oh, it was wow. here and i moved it and this is really important because you are allowed in this game to move the egg maybe you place it there and you think oh that's not a very good place you are allowed to move it as many times as you like as long as as long as you don't just keep it in your inventory to stop someone finding it so actually i had a really funny moment unfortunately i wasn't recording i had a really funny moment where i hid it in that window there scar saw it he saw the egg, and I went, uh-oh. So I, he had to go to the shop really quickly to get wings, and by the time he came back, I had moved it. But it didn't even matter, because it's gone. I hid the egg in here. I hid it right here. It was I thought it was a pretty good spot, but within five minutes, the egg was gone. Wow. 
So I have a feeling that the other hermits are going to have to be incredibly good at hiding this thing if we are going to get anyone with a decent amount of points. I think that Scar has the egg, but I'm not sure if he's hidden it yet. I assume that he's found it because he was the one that was looking around in my base almost immediately. A new shop has appeared around here, Tango's Bedrock Service. Whoa! Oh! I could fly- Haha! -ha. What's this? Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you for choosing Tango's Bedrock Service. Oh wait, how do I get out? Can I- I could- I could fly out, right? I could just fly out. Okay, I have very- I have very limited fireworks. This is- this is the most dastardly thing I've ever seen! I didn't know you could trap people in bedrock like this! I've only got 20 rockets! Did I do it? <laughs> 10 rockets, 10 rockets, 10 rockets, 10 rockets, 10 rockets! I did it! Oh my goodness, I did it! Oh! Wow, bro! I am so good at flying! Tango's bedrock service is a firm no recommend from me. I'm going to leave a terrible review on TripAdvisor. There was me thinking that Tango had opened a bedrock breaking service, and that's what Impulse had maybe used on the bottom hole. But no, no, it's just a service that puts you in bedrock, which I'm kind of ashamed that I, I didn't know that you could do that. Between clips, I went into the nether and I was grinding very, very hard to get wither skeletons to gift some to the people that helped me get those beacons. Now the issue is, it actually was ridiculous. I've killed over 500 wither skeletons and I did not get the drops that I was hoping for. So drop one for Pearl and drop one for Impulse. Thank you for helping me with the withers. So now they can go and craft another one if they want to. They can even kill it with dripstone if they want. But I will need to go back at some point and get three more for our scary boy over there. <laughs> but I think that is all I have time for today. We've got okay. quite a lot done. We have multiple beacons. We have done the interior of our base. And the game of Teg has officially started and is already out of my hands. I didn't even get a chance. But do you know what? I was kind of banking on you guys, the audience, trying to spoil it. You know, like... You were going to go to the other hermits and say, Oh, Green's hidden the egg under the stairs. Well, I uh, didn't even get that opportunity. I hid it. I must have hidden it so poorly that I didn't. you didn't even get a chance to snitch on me. So that's how that worked out. All right, so I'm going to go and get the rest of these Wither Skeleton Skulls, and I shall see you in the next episode. Good bye. Nice. Okay, so this is the video that you're going to see me react to around about half an hour um, after this video is uploaded. Um, if you guys like this video, um, please like and subscribe. It's always uh, very much appreciated. Um, and go support Green as well if you did like this video. Um, and with that being said, I will see you in the next reaction video. Have a nice day.